Hey guys, welcome back to the Helix Blade, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time ROM hack demo. Unfinished game, but also nonetheless that follows the history of the fierce deity. So, in the previous episode we did a bunch of stuff. Um, we did the swamp area, and now we're at the um, Great Bay um, Temple, so to speak. So let's check it out. So we got our awesome uh, extended razor sword. Awesome design, always love that. So it looks like in here we might get like the hook shot or something because I see some things that are gonna need some kind of mobility upgrade. And this is the only door we can go through, so let's go through it. I like the door design, that's really cool, the yellow. Again, it's the textures for me. Oh, hi. Bemos. Some tactites. Make short work of them. Take out the Bemos in case, you know, we need to kill every item, enemy in this room for something. Two bombs for the win. Oh, I got my bombs back. Even better. Hmm. Gonna have to. How can you reach me from all the way over there? Yo! Chill! Alright, let's get up there. When he's not looking. Go, 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 go. Uh-oh. Oh! Bro. Oh my gosh. Pew. Side hops for the win. Good lord. Is there damage output upgraded or something? I bet this is a key. Yeah. What I have noticed is, um... Lack of fairies. We haven't found any fairies, but we have a bottle. So that's not very helpful. But, it's okay. Maybe I can get some hearts from a tech type. Ah! Glad I did that. So that door over there is still sealed, but this is an unlockable, so let's see. Hmm. Hookshot targets. Oh, I guess we're, uh, I guess we're dropping. <laughs> oh wow, I actually thought that was going to be like a slope that kind of, ooh. What is that? It's kind of strange. Down we go, I guess. Well, I guess I should have gone all the way down just to fall in the water instead of... That slope I thought was going to be like a slope that kind of makes me slide down and off, but I guess not. We're supposed to catch our fall in the water. Oh, I hear water. This is a large room. Hmm. Takes that. Eat my jump attack. You too. Ah, oh, what? We clashed. Oi, go away. Back. Back. Thank you. Why can't I step on the switch? Oh. <laughs> Collision was a little weird, though. Oh, no. Timed water. Flashbacks to uh, Master of Time Water Temple Nightmare. Man, someone's cooking something. It smells good. Not sure what it is. Hey, what did I say about a fairy? So oh, I need that. I'm almost. Whew. Get it. Nice. Aha. They heard me. Hmm, it smells like someone's cooking all sausage and eggs or something like that. I wonder if someone downstairs is making something good. I have to go investigate after this video because it smells good. It's making me hungry again. I had waffles. Waffles for breakfast. Pew. Oh, that lowers that one. Um, I'm not gonna make it. No! <laughs> so close, but so far. So the switch on 
over here. Looks like it probably lowers the other one at that door. Let's check out the rest of this room before we try and uh, do that. Can I get reach this guy? Yeah. Nice. And I'll take those hearts. Thank you very much. I like this ominous music. Yeah, this is definitely a large room. Definitely hookshot material stuff going on here. Alright, so... Alright. Well, I guess let's try and, uh... Do some switch action here. Do the eye one first, I guess, since that door is closer to us. And this time it be a little bit quicker. Wow, I completely missed it, and it still took. Whereas in the Swamp Temple, I felt like I was shooting <laughs> the eye dead on, and I wasn't doing anything. Yeah. Rupees! Sand. Hmm. Why do I feel like some levers are in my near future? Alright, seems simple enough. Line it up. I love the ambient sounds. I knew it! Ow. Go away. Wow, we still got like four more. Wait. Man, they're really good at uh, getting right at me. Go away! Yay! Wait, so all that did was open the door? Oh. That chest wasn't here before. The dungeon map. Okay. Oh, Oceanside Temple, not Great Bay Temple. <laughs> All right. I was kind of hoping that would be like a hookshot or something, but maybe not quite yet. We're still early in the dungeon. So I guess let's try the other door. And not let the tech tights ruin our little uh, adventure. I see you. Get out of here. Ooh. Thank you, though. All right, let's make a break for the other door. The collision on this switch is weird. Like, you have to come at it from the corner. Come on. Faster, faster. Oh, plenty of time. Nice. Oh dear. Land clams are the worst. The benefit being though, I can use arrows on them instead of the hookshot. Which are just a little bit faster. Bye bye. Maybe this is the hook shot. Or the compass. Could be either one. Place your bets. I feel like we can't progress without the hook shot now though, so. Ah, the hook shot. Ooh, the um icon is different. It's a spring loaded chain that can cast out the hook things. You can use it to drag innocent items towards you, or you can use it to pull yourself towards something. While holding C, you can aim with a stick. Shoot it by releasing C. Thank you for those instructions. Hookshot. I like the new icons. Interesting. It's like a hook. Literally a hook shot. I think I'll use it. Oh, and it's even different um, holding it too. Nice. So, block. Self-explanatory. Yep. Spoiled by the fast pull. Eh. You can do it, Link. Nice. Cool. Ooh. Oh no. We're not doing this. Ooh, that was a nice quick bat shot. 
I see you. Right between the eyes. Why? Well, don't know why I just dropped a bomb. Oh. So is this the long shot or is this just a short hook shot? Good question. Or is this Majora's Mask hook shot that's longer than the normal hook shot from Ocarina of Time? Wow, he's really uh, good at seeing me there. Alright, so that's blocked, so we're gonna have to undo that crystal switch again, it looks like. To get up there. Simple enough. Oh, it doesn't make these go away, though. That's interesting. I guess it can't, because it would be kind of hard to make those retract into the floor. Oh, but now that door's closed again. Well, should this be... I think we can just drop a bomb right here. I'm a genius! I mean, what else were you going to do? Oh, hi. Another key. All right. I guess for that door. <laughs> we can also get the chest in the front area now. And we can go over here and get this chest. Now that we have uh, hookshot capabilities. To hookshot the chest or the torch? Oh, the chest. A couple less steps. Another key. Two keys under our belt. Nice. Uh, I kind of want to go back to the front area and get that chest. It's probably the compass. And that door is closer for the time being. Uh, all right, tech tight. Don't even think about it. Oh, we're, we can't do that anyway because we're at the bottom of the the pit. Although I'm sure that's going to open eventually for us. All right, so we have nowhere to go but the key door. That's fine. And that water, those water jets stay. Come here. Oh, I missed them. The water jets stay down, it looks like, after you go through the door the first time. Hmm. Fair enough. Some large steps. Hmm. Blue switch. What are we dealing with here? Oh, box. Alright. Probably the easiest box shenanigans I've had to deal with. Because boy, we've been some seen some weird stuff with the boxes a lot of times. Down? Oh no. The bow is my friend for these. Yeah. Eat that like like. Neat. Alright. Some slidey platforms, huh? I think I see what might needs to be done here. Oh, what? what? the heck am I supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to hookshot the platform from... I don't know if I'm going to be able to grab it that way. Oh wait, there was a uh Oh, there's a switch right here. <laughs> Didn't even see that. Oh duh. Oh, uh, probably have to move those gates back and forth so that I can get uh get to the platform. Yeah. Alright, I understand. And that blocks that off too. Gotcha. Okay. I completely didn't even see that crystal switch the first time. And 
Go. Flip switch. Oh, they don't go back. What? Oh no, I think it's okay. And then... Pew. Yay. Oh, so the gates don't go back. It just um, makes the transparent blocks disappear again. So you can get back over here. Okay. That's fine. Take me closer. And... Yeet. going on here. Oh, this is um, on the other side of the larger room. Okay. Everything's connecting now. Ooh. We can go up. We can go this way. Uh-oh. Go down. Ow. Oh, this is the... Uh, is that gate. I guess this creates just kind of like a shortcut, so if you end up back in the other room, you can hook shot back up here. Alright, let's go back this way and go up again. We still need to make our way back to the foyer. Oh, I don't want to even happen there. Come around up the steps. I like this. Oh, there's two doors here. Oh man. This looks uh dicey. Gotcha. Almost. Ah. What? Wow, I'm really bad there. Let's give her the clams. Out of here. And you too. I see a large chest. I was like, uh, can we go around that? Ah. I knew it. Gonna have to hook shot to the chest. Yeah. This is probably the compass. Most likely. Yep. Thought it might be. That was the second door. Well, the door right next to the one I initially went through. Now we can go up. Eventually, we're going to probably wind up back in the foyer area. Because there was still a closed door there and a chest. Here's where our other key is going to come in handy. I like the angles of the ceilings. Architecture is kind of nice. Oh, we're coming around the, uh, this way again. The boss is on that floor. Oh. Oh, hello. That was close. They need two. See, I'm not used to the texture of this bow, so it's throwing my aim off a little bit. Alright, never mind. So we got a waterfall of death. Hook shot. More hookshot. Bats that are ready to swoop down. There we go. Ah. Um. There we go. That's not what these bats mess us up. I see you. And the other one. I 
I hear you coming. Haha. <laughs> Alright, I think that was everything for that room. Just avoiding the bats and climbing the hookshot spots. Not too bad. Oh, this is suspicious. Oh, boss door. Okay. Uh. Huh. Oh, there's a um, hookshot thing there. Oh, we can probably walk on this, right? Because that wasn't an actual slope. Oh, would you look at that? We're back in the uh, main area. I have a sneaky hunch that this is the boss key. I mean, what else could it be? We got the chest, we got the uh, dungeon map and the compass, main item. It's gotta be the boss key. Oh, it's a piece of heart. Oh, and that door's still closed. Oh, we can go up here, though. Mostly. There we go. Is there something up here that we can do? Is there a switch somewhere? Yes, there is. The mystery of that door is finally going to be solved. I'll bet we'll find a boss key not far into this. I hear water. Ooh. Okay. Hookshot targets, crystal switch. I'm betting the crystal switch affects the water spout somehow. And there's the boss key right there. All right, so let's flip the switch. I'm betting that's gonna lower the water and then we can hook shot to the chest. Oh man, that's fast. But not fast enough for me. Well, this place was definitely easier than the Swamp Temple. A lot more straightforward. I like the design better too. It was a good water-based temple. Not gonna lie, actually. Probably one of the better water temples I've played. And not gonna lie, just coming over here to get a view. I really like the, uh, the entrance here a lot, actually. Get rid of the compass, because this, this might be thumbnail material right here. Yeah, I like the, uh, I like the design. Angle from the right, angle from the left, just take in the architecture. All right, never mind. That's enough of that. Moving forward. Got the boss key. So let's see. Because there wasn't really a boss in the swamp temple. It was just a bunch of Dekus. So I wonder what they're going to throw at us in the boss room here. That's a good question. At least it's close, though. It's right here. Let's save state it up. Save the game in case anything bad happens. Oof. Like I thought rumbling in the door would do anything. Oh. Are they gonna throw like morph uh, at us or something? I don't think so. But this uh, body of water with a thing in the middle is kind of suspicious. What is this? Oh. Oh. Man, he just came right at me. Alright. One. Any questions? <laughs> oh. I wonder what this is going to be. Probably a heart container. Because this would be like the boss room, but I guess maybe the staff hosts are just placeholders. Ah, yes. Nice. Well, that was a cool little temple. I, uh, I actually enjoyed that experience a lot. That was a nice, straightforward, nothing too crazy hard. Just a uh, overall enjoyable and dungeon. Uh, enjoyable and dungeon. Take that. Hey, this is the end of the demo. Thanks for playing. Credits. Hack by Core Pride. Field theme and Oceanside Temple theme by Green Ocarina. Special thanks to the Hylian Modding Discord. Check them out. What? That's the end of the demo? How do I get inside Clock Town? I want to get inside Clock Town. What? Did we miss anything? 
Well, we still have two out of four heart pieces, so there's got to be more heart pieces, right? 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 Somebody? Anybody? Yeah, right? She's got to be more heart pieces. So let's see if we can find these other two. Ew. We have the hookshot now. Is there any, uh, anything special we can do with the hookshot? Now that we have it. Whoa. That was a stage area. What over here? Did we do this? What? Oh, that's where the chest spawned after uh, lighting the torches. What can we do with the hookshot now that we have it? I feel like there was something else we could do. Brainstorming. Oh, there was the uh, the tree in front of the swamp area with a torch in it that we could hookshot to. There's that. I feel like there's got to be some way you can get inside Clocktown or something like that, too. I want to go in there. I love Clocktown. And now we're back out here. Great Bay. There wasn't anything along these uh, islands to do, was there? That is a nice sky, though. I really like that pink and uh, purple color. I'm a vapor waves color guy. Oh, I see a torch. Up there. Oh, we didn't go that way. Well, I guess that's what we're doing now. Yeah, I love vapor wave colors. Vapor wave aesthetics. The 90s. Nostalgia stuff. Designs. Old Pizza Huts, you know, that kind of thing. Analog horror. This has got to be something. Aha! That's three pieces. Oh, I'll bet the last one's in that tree. And that would probably mean that there's nothing else we can do in that one. Which is kind of sad, because I wanted to do more. Although I didn't really check to see if we could go into like the Snowhead and Ikana points. So we can always check those, but if they're saying that's the end of the demo in that dungeon. I'm not really sure what else there is. Spam call incoming. Incoming suspected spam call. Decline. Well, I should have let it ring if it was actually uh, anybody that was really trying to reach me that was legit. You can leave a voicemail. At the tone, please leave a message. Alright, what, what else can we do? Can we do anything? So that leads to the other... Um, the other two areas. Let's go over here where the swamp is and check this tree that has a torch in it. I'm betting that'll be our fourth hearth piece. Oh, that's... That's open now. That wasn't open before. We can go in. Alright. So must I had to do the temple to open up clock town, I guess? Because there, there was boulders there before. Right? Am I, am I mistaken? There was boulders there before. Yeah. Another heart container. Woohoo! All right, let's see if we can go inside clock town. Watch it, like, spit us back out or something like that. <laughs> A tease. Moment of truth. Ah, oh, it doesn't go anywhere. What? Now that is what I call a tease. Come on. All right, let's go over here. See if um, I didn't really look closer at the snow area and Icona. Termina Field Northeast. Okay. Dodongos.
Ah, uh, there's boulders blocking that. Bogus boulders. Can we clip through them? <laughs> if I was a glitch master, I could probably get over there, but it probably doesn't look good. It probably doesn't lead anywhere anyway. I know there's ways to like bomb hover and do all kinds of crazy tricks that I never did master. I remember trying to do them and I was just like, alright, I give up. <laughs> all those speedrunning tricks. So if there's not really much else to do, this is probably going to be a shorter video because um, out of stuff to do. All right, this side is still blocked off too. Okay. All right, and I'll bet um, I'll bet that Icona is blocked off too. Most likely. Yes. No. Maybe. Possibly. Probably. No. All right. Okay, I'll admit that's the end of the demo, I guess. Um, so yeah, the Helix Blade. Definitely cool. I think it's still being worked on, just very slowly. Um, again, all info is in like, the Hylian modding Discord and stuff like that, so if you ever want to check this ROM hack out for yourself, make sure you go there and check it out. And um, yeah, um, I, overall, I definitely enjoyed it. I always thought Fierce Deity was cool, so I would love to learn like backstory and see more about him. So... Cool demo. I like the dungeons. I like the textures. I always love the textures. And, uh, yeah. Cool water dungeon. Swamp Temple was pretty cool. I like the new icon designs. The new designs. Everything, really. I like Link's armor. And the Razor Sword. Man, that's such a cool sword. Always wanted that sword. So, yeah. If you liked the video, make sure you drop a comment. Like the video, subscribe for more Zelda ROM hacks and Super Mario RPG and playing Tears of the Kingdoms on Saturdays. And I'll see you in whatever ROM hack we decide to do next. Until then, take care.